Hello, YouTubers and YouTubettes. So today I'm going to be turning elemental lead to lead tetraoxide, um, also known as red lead. And so I'm going to show you the whole process from melting lead to get it pure all the way to the final product. To me mailing it, I guess. <laughs> um, so I'll take you over to the lead. Here I've got my lead, and um, I've taken it and I've pushed all the slag off. Oops, kind of cooling down because it's loud. Um, but uh, you push all the slag off to get it a lot more pure, and then I'm going to dump it in this water right here, um, and that way it'll make it into little pellets, basically. And just word of caution, molten lead and water can cause explosions. So be very cautious if you do this. All right, well, I guess as a word of caution, is um, I'm an idiot. Don't be like me. But even I'm smart enough to know that I need safety equipment, and nitric acid is not something to play with, nor lead. Both of these are very dangerous, and they're even more dangerous to the environment than to just yourself. If you kill yourself, that's your fault. Don't kill the environment and other people. Um, with having said that, let's continue on. All right, so the lead weighed 137 grams, basically. And so I'm going to add 150 milliliters of nitric acid and just this only. And then put it on a burner and start heating it. I did another 150 milliliters of nitric acid. And um, so what I've done is you see that top bottle, and this is in my fume hood. Um, but I put some cold water in there and then put that on top and then this napkin's to just plug the little bit of extra hole that's there. But um, the cold water is keeping the nitrous oxide gas in there super good. It's pretty neat looking because you can't see it really on the camera. Um, but literally the gas, you can just see it falling down from the top down. It looks so cool. I mean, it's like falling fog almost pretty neat definitely something I'll try to do again in the future I don't know why I would never thought of this before but it works really really good there you can see it falling now so pretty impressive <laughs> alright so once uh, you've got done with the nitric acid bath and let it cool and then you're going to want to take it and drain off the nitric acid. So then you're left with just your dissolved lead and stuff in the, in your container. And so then pour that into a different container or keep it in that container, whichever you prefer. And you're going to want to add a decent amount of water, maybe, I don't know, 500 milliliters and so then as soon as the water touches it it's gonna be a white precipitate and you're gonna wanna stir that for at least an hour and then you're gonna wanna let it set for another good hour or two and so then you're gonna want to drain that off and that will take you to right here and I'll show you what's going on alright so in here I've got my lead nitrate and water and the precipitate and I let it sit for a while and, um, and then I added about 300 grams of sodium hydroxide to 200 milliliters of water. And you're going to want to add the sodium hydroxide slowly so you don't boil the water. Just, I mean, there's no reason not to boil the water, but just for safety. Because, like, this is a Halloween pail, as an example. Boiling water will melt it. <laughs> so then once you're in like this... You're going to want to um, stir it and let it stir for an hour or two. And at this point, it will turn orange. Just like this. And so then, you're going to want to strain that off. 
and then you're going to want to boil hot water to rinse this four or five times. And then, uh, put boiling water in it, stir it up, drain it, let it cool off. Put boiling water in it, stir it, drain it, let it cool off four or five times. All right, so I've got my lead tetroxide that is sitting in this filter. And so the next step is I'm going to be pouring boiling hot water on that to keep watching the sodium hydroxide through to purify the so the lead tetraoxide. And so this will be my third rinse out of five. And so then once you do five, um, from everything I've read, that's as many as necessary. But you'll be able to tell because there will be a white crust that will form on the top if there's still more sodium hydroxide that needs to be removed via rinsing. And so... Um, once I'm done doing my rinses, I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, just to show, you watch me pour. Oh, well, that didn't work too great. <laughs> you can see I'm pouring, pouring boiling water in here. And give it a stir. Make sure not to pop your filter. I did that and then had to kind of start over. Kind of sucky. But you see, at the first rinse, there's lots of white residues. And when I stirred it, and this time, it's basically none. none. And so I can tell I'm real close to where I want to be. So I broke my last flask, so I can't use my vacuum. Um to filter this quickly but you can see the red down in there and um, so this is all done once it's dried and uh, and that so that's how you synthesize lead tetraoxide and so from here to mail it you just literally put it in the mail I guess I mean as long as it's less than a pound because then you can put it in an envelope or whatever just make sure you wrap it carefully so it doesn't spill but um yeah, that's how you synthesize it without having to heat up lead 2 and 4 or oxide to become this tetraoxide, which is actually a more difficult process than this, um, which I will do a video on that soon. Uh, have a good day.